What I do is just like, like you know, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Apparently, it's just been discovered that organic fruits and vegetables are ethically bad for vegans now. Why? Because some of them happen to be grown in fertilizer made from animal products. Oh no, she did! The GMO fruits and vegetables are grown in exactly the same type of soil, except with more chemicals. And haven't we always been told to wash off our fruits and vegetables, yet this is suddenly a problem? For the last time, I'm pretty sure what's killing the crops is this Brondo stuff. The Brondo's got what plants crave. It's got electrolytes. So wait a minute. What you're saying is that you want us to put water on the crops? Yes. Water. Like out the toilet? Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be out of the toilet, but, but yeah, that's the idea. But Brondo's got what plants crave. It's got electrolytes. Do we have any balanced relationship with the land here? Or are we at war with the land? We are bombing and bombing to create edibles. We should realize that the use of pesticides is an integral part of the production of genetically modified crops. Oil-based chemical pesticides, herbicides, uh, they don't just disappear. They go out into the ground, and then when it rains, they run off into the streams, and then as they run off into the streams, they run off into the oceans. It's a crime, and we need to stop that. We need to say we object to it, and we need to put up a defense for it. Everybody comes here because it's paradise, right? Well, if it's paradise, you should be able to eat food from the land here. Agent Orange still affects descendants of those directly poisoned when they were exposed by aerial applications. I have Agent Orange poisoning, and what is it doing? It's hitting the Vietnam veterans that are over 50 years old. Monsanto, do I take it personal? You bet I do. Who would stand to gain by demonizing organic fruits and vegetables? That would be Monsanto and the other GMO corporations, since organics are their biggest threat and rival. It would also make perfect sense for them to try to persuade vegans to become allies on the side of GMOs simply by convincing them that organic crops supported animal agriculture somehow. GMO corporations have everything to gain by getting vegans on their side. They simply have to convince them that organic fruits and vegetables are not ethical, that they promote animal agriculture, and are therefore not vegan. But first, they must get a fairly visible vegan who is willing to promote their propaganda. Now I want to put the organic fertilizer demand equals increased animal holocaust demand thing into perspective. The statistics here show the number of farmers using various kinds of organic fertilizers on their farms from 2015 to 2017. Most of it is coming from the very industries that we as vegans are opposed to. So certified organic doesn't allow synthetic fertilizer and plant-based organic fertilizer is only about one to four percent of the total organic fertilizer. So it's next to a hundred percent manure or animal products. The exception is veganic, organic farming, but this is a very fringe practice at the moment. The head cheerleader appears to be reading scripts straight from the Monsanto website. All of a sudden she's an expert on the subject of GMOs? Why the sudden interest? It also wasn't too long ago that she said in a comment on her own channel that she was against showing graphic slaughterhouse footage to promote veganism. She felt that you didn't need to shock people. Yet now she's using the most graphic slaughterhouse footage and videos solely to link organic crops to animal agriculture. GMO food production is banned in 38 countries and requires labeling in 64 countries. Obviously there's a huge concern for safety. 
Many vegans initially switched to a plant-based diet for health reasons, yet we're now supposed to believe something so dangerous is not even fit for consumption and it's what we should be eating? You'll notice that the ones pushing the propaganda are not even addressing the health issues of GMOs, just the alleged ethical ones of organics. It's just common sense to realize that genetically tampered with crops are some weird ass Frankenstein shit designed to wreak havoc on all living cells and create cancerous conditions in the body. They've taken agriculture and built an industrial model which doesn't fit nature. So instead of changing their agricultural model to accommodate what is natural, they're changing nature to accommodate the industrial model. If you have an organic corn crop that sits next to a genetically engineered corn field, and it happens to tassel at the same time, and it happens to be downwind, you're going to get your crop contaminated. The rest of the food supply is contaminated. Then the genie is out of the bottle, and it's maybe physically impossible to turn the situation around. In the genetic engineering revolution, these seeds are now patented property of one corporation called Monsanto. The pharmaceutical industry has no interest in having you well because they don't make any money if you're well. And the pharmaceutical industry is the biotech industry. The end goal of Monsanto and the other GMO corporations is to ultimately own and control the world's food supply. Their goal is to obtain patents for all seeds, genetically modify them, make all heirloom and natural seeds illegal and unobtainable. By using only these patented seeds, it will force the small crop farmers to buy new seeds every year, eventually driving them out of business, as they will no longer be able to save, swap, and share seeds that have been developed over generations. Terminator technology is the genetic modification of plants to make them produce sterile seeds. They are also known as suicide seeds. Terminator's official name is Genetic Use Restriction Technologies. Great for biotech companies, bad for crop farmers. You're dead, honey. Oh, God. Where's your tattoo? Why come you don't have a tattoo? Oh, my God. You're not unscannable, are you? Oh, my God! You're unscannable. In summary, we want to encourage the growth of organic farming using veganic soil, not replace the world's natural seeds with dead patented ones laced with poison. It is anti-life, anti-nature, and a crime against humanity.